Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today, yep, you guessed it, the annual Bell Palsy Challenge. I am doing the Bell Palsy Challenge. Y'all, this is so, it's weird. It brings up um, a whole lot of emotions, but we're going to do this, okay? So, Last year, August, was it, no, July of 2019, I got diagnosed with Bell Palsy, and I kicked off a Bell Palsy Challenge. That is how a lot of you know me or have gotten to know me, through the Bell Palsy Challenge. So, we're kicking it off again this year. Now, I have my patch, I have my new t-shirt, Bell Palsy. The color for Bell Palsy is silver, the silver ribbon here. So we are just going to get started. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, first, let me tell you about Bell Palsy. Bell Palsy is a condition that causes temporary weakness or paralyzation on one side of your face and the muscles that's in your face. It can occur when the nerve that controls your facial muscles become inflamed, swollen, or compressed. The condition causes one side of your face to droop or become stiff. And in my case, it was this side of my face. The cause of Bell palsy is, is unknown. Swelling and inflammation of the cranial nerve. Uh, they say number seven is seen in individuals with Bell Palsy. Most scientists believe that reactivation of existing uh, viral, viral infection may cause the disorder. Bell Palsy is not considered permanent, but in rare cases, it does not disappear. Currently, there is no known cure for Bell Palsy. However, recovery usually begins two weeks to six months. And in my case, it was three weeks from the onset of the symptoms. Once you get diagnosed with Bell Palsy, you're just gonna feel, I don't know what that noise is. You're just gonna, you're just gonna uh, no, notice that something is not right. Like in my case, when I, when I laid down, I had a real bad headache behind my ear. I didn't think nothing of it, so I just went ahead and went to sleep. So, let me eat. Let me eat. I'm just talking and I'm eating. Okay, Father God, I thank you now for this food. I ask that you bless it for the nurse of my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I have snow crabs. I have shrimp, sausage, and egg. So that is what I'm eating. And I have uh, the mayo and mustard dip that I have fell in love with from uh, Eating Pretty. And in my case, mine... Um, Mine was Hold on y'all, hold on, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. That was my honey. Uh yes, what I was saying was and in my instance, um and in my situation, my head started hurting in the back of Behind my ear. Oh, it's good. I didn't think anything of it. I went to sleep. I woke up to do the regular stuff that we do. Wash our face and brush our teeth. And I could not even hold water in my mouth. So I went to the ER. Because I literally thought I was having a stroke. And it was Bell Palsy. I don't have nothing to wash my hands with. And when I woke up, I just I couldn't I couldn't hold nothing in my mouth. Went to the ER. They said, Miss, you have Bell Palsy. And I'm like, what? What is Bell Palsy? 
And I still didn't think nothing of it because it really hadn't sat in my face yet. It really hadn't, you know, did the damage that it was going to do. So the next day I woke up because it take 48 hours for it to actually set in your face. So the next day I woke up, my entire mouth was twisted and my eye couldn't, my left eye couldn't close. And that is the point of the patch because I had to wear a patch because this eye would not close and blinking causes moisture in our eye when we can blink and if your eye is not closed it's always open it is getting dry and that is is more prone to infections and everything and the medicine that i had to take was steroids and some information medicine that's the only thing they can get because it's not a cure for it but most people believe most most doctors believe that it is caused by stress a lot of people say after a year we can't tell you can't tell you ever had it angela but you know you know in your body i still had a little residue of it I still have, I still have, you know, when I'm eating sometimes, this eye kind of closes a little bit more than normal, you know? You're going to always have some type of residue of, of the fire that you've been through. Huh. You might not smell like it, but you're going to have some residue. Okay, so that is what we're doing. Bell palsy. If you know somebody that is suffering with bell palsy or have suffered with bell palsy, get them this shirt. The shirt is only $15. Get them a shirt and let them know that you support them. And I was so embarrassed to come on like now I can't even go back and watch those videos I can't but my mom she told me to continue to do my channel And that's what I did. And then I um, did a video one day called the uh, She Spotlight. And I talked about Be Love. And she found that video. And I was going through bell palsy at that time. Uh, that's how a lot of you found me. Through her. Through her doing the challenge. Through her talking about me. It is very difficult. If you don't have to use this. Woo. It's difficult. So, I hope everybody that did the challenge last year, I hope you do it again. I hope you do it again. I'm going to 
try to reach out to as many people <clears throat> as I can. A lot of uh, people that did the challenge, they don't even do YouTube anymore. But I'm going to try to reach out to as many as I can. And hoping that they will again do the challenge. Spread awareness. Pay attention to your body <clears throat> when something is going on. Because I knew that something was going on because I the headache that I had, I had never had that type of headache before. And so we just want to bring awareness to this rare disease. <clears throat> and that is, a, that is what is ca uh, categorized under a rare disease. A lot of my family like, they palsy. What is that? I'm calling out everybody <laughs> everybody you don't have to eat to do the bell palsy challenge you can just sit and share what you know or if you had any experience with it any of that it is not a certain time uh, if you can do it before the during October, I would greatly appreciate it. Because Bell Palsy is, um, October is Bell Palsy Awareness Month. And a lot of times it does get lost in the shuffle because breast cancer is so huge, which is um, Awareness, uh, October Awareness Month with the breast cancer as well but it gets lost in the shuffle because breast cancer is so so big and so many people are affected with it and i um have had uh relatives that have lost their lives to breast cancer so i do understand that but if i can share my story other people will be more um, conscious of what's going on with their body, what to look for, what to look for, the, you know, what signs to look for, and all that. And they also have a, a facial paralysis month, which is not Bell Palsy, but it's a facial paralysis week, which is in March. Seafood is so good. Oh, again, I hope you all participated in it again. Over 70 YouTubers participated. It was huge. And we hope we get that same response. This year, we hope we get some some new people to do it. and But definitely, we want some oldies. We definitely want some oldies to come back. A 
think I've shared everything. If you have any questions about Bell Palsy, or you just want to share your story about Bell Palsy, put it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I got so many uh, comments about people that have had Bell Palsy and they came back and Cause I and I never knew that people were so familiar with it. And one of uh, my fellow YouTubers, and she don't she don't uh, put out content anymore, is Deanna East. And she would always put a disclaimer in her videos because of the facial paralysis in her face. So. If you have any comments, if you have any stories to tell, and you don't want to do the challenge, just leave them in the comments below. But please, please try to do the challenge. I challenge you all, I challenge you all to do the bell pause challenge. Wear an eye patch, cover your eye with something, a gall, or anything. And let's just spread the word about bell palsy. Okay, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share the love, share the love, share the love. And in all your sharing, love God, love people, serve God, serve people. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.